Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the debate of LeBron James versus Michael Jordan. Now, for this debate here, I'm going to be listing the things that I think are the most important when determining which one of these players is the best of all time. Okay, this, this metric right here is very important. It's consecutive dribbles without bouncing the ball off their foot. On average, LeBron can dribble the ball 11 times in a row without bouncing it off his foot, which is two times more than Jordan. However, Jordan set the NBA all-time record of 33 consecutive dribbles in 1996, which dwarfs James' personal best of 16. Okay, now this one right here is the crab walk field goal percentage. Shooting from the crab walking position, Jordan's field goal percentage beats LeBron James by 32% to only LeBron's 30%. So, you know, I mean, Jordan's really leading in that category right there. Uh, this next one is gratitude whistles per game. Basically, this, this is a metric that measures you know, just the referee in the basketball game just blowing their whistle just out of amazement towards the basketball player. They're not calling a foul or anything. They're just blowing that whistle because they're so happy to see, you know, LeBron James or Jordan. So the two mar the, the two stars measure identically here, with Jordan and James each averaging 4.2 instances per game of referees blowing on their whistles to express their gratitude at just how well the other one is playing basketball. This uh, next one here is the Rookie of the Year Rewards. LeBron James is dominating during this category, with a total of four Rookie of the Year awards to uh, Michael Jordan's one. And uh, this next one, this next one is uh, is cock size, with uh, with a length measurement of 12.6 centimeters and a mid shaft circumference of uh, 7.2. Uh, LeBron James cock exceeds Jordan's by 24% in total surface area. Uh, now I don't know why both of these guys own chickens. I mean maybe they like maybe they like doing like chicken fight or something like that. So like. Uh, I don't know, I guess some athletes have done that before. It's kind of a thing that you may see, like, in the Middle East, you know, uh, cockfights. Uh, this, this next one is is Good Deed Sickers. This is basically when a, a player calls a timeout just so something does not happen to a player. And actually, back in the 92 Finals, uh, Michael Jordan called a timeout so nobody would step on Horace Grant's glasses. So he's actually got 100 of these in his whole career to uh, LeBron James' 71 Good Deeds. So LeBron James definitely is not far behind, and I definitely think that he can catch up to them within the next few seasons. And then you have the metric of, of a player jumping so high that they get, actually get stuck on the backboard. You know, they, they jump so high in the air because their vertical is just insanely crazy, and they, they jump really high, and, uh, and actually a fireman has to come with a fire truck and uh, get a ladder and bring them down. So uh, Michael Jordan's actually done this 13 times in his career, and uh, LeBron James has only done this eight. So, like I said, though, I mean, LeBron James is still very young. He still has some good seasons left in him. He's definitely in his prime right now. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how he does that going forward. Now, there are there are a few strong indicators of success, and that is uh, how much free stuff people give you. So LeBron James has been given 12 free T-shirts in his career, and uh, easily eclipsing Michael Jordan's eight. However, adjusting equivalency to account for statistical discrepancies between eras of play. Jordan's true teacher average would be closer to 13. So, you know, they're they're pretty close in that aspect. And actually, one time a fan actually walked up to uh, Jordan and gave him his mixtape. So, you know, that was pretty fire right there, too. Then you really want to look at sweat glands. And LeBron James actually has more sweat glands than Michael Jordan. So, I mean, hey, you know, that's, that's saying a lot of things right there by just how much he hustles and how much he sweats during the game. Now, this next one is very important. It is forehead brilliance. The lustrous sheen on both men's sweaty foreheads is mesmerizing, but when graded in terms of brightness, polishness, and cloudiness, Jordan earns an official rating of FL, which is flawless. Where the uh, when, when inspected beneath 10 times magnification, James' forehead reveals signs of blemish and grain irregular uh, T, so earning him a low score of VSF, which is very slightly flawed. This very this, this next one is dunk so powerful that the ball actually screams itself. The ball actually grows a mouth and yells and screams as loud as it can. So early in his career, Jordan excelled at dunking so powerfully that a mouth would appear on the ball and begin screaming. But this skill diminished in his later seasons, leaving him with a career average of 1.6 instances per game. James currently holds the lead at 3.1 instances per game, but I expect this number to, uh, you know, dwindle a bit in the upcoming seasons as his career kind of dwindles down. This next one is tongue rebounds. LeBron's proudness for tongue rebounds largely overshadows Jordan's, with uh, King James successfully shooting his tongue out like a frog to grab loose balls nearly twice as many times per game as Michael Jordan does. Then you have the catchphrase, Jordan's catchphrase, the net is hungry for balls and Chef Michael is going to fill up its tummy. On average, earns 9.3 more applause than James' catchphrase, looky here, it's time for a big slam dunk. 
So uh, after looking over the statistics here that have been, you know, calculated and gathered through through since Michael Jordan joined the league back in the 80s there, and of course LeBron James up until now, the uh, verdict is, as you can see, each number has put up legendary numbers during their career. But ultimately, Jordan still comes out on top as the greatest basketball player of all time. But LeBron's still going strong, and he, until he retires, the ball is still up in the air. Let me know what you guys think.